Come on out, Michael. Hello, Chris. How you been? Fine, I guess. I've just been doing a whole lot of thinking. Hmm. I'm guessing... about our conversation from a few months back? Yeah, that. And... some other things. Really? What else? Well, um... A whole lot of things. Mainly to do with my life and the decisions that I've made. I have a question for you. And I want, it, I want you to answer it as honest as possible. Going by how long you've known me for and what I've done. Mainly to you. Michael, am I a terrible person? Well, I mean, to be honest, you're not a good person, and perhaps you may have been a bad one in the past, but are you one now? Honestly? No. I don't think you are. Really? E even, even, even after how selfish and, and, and awful I've been to you, you don't think I'm a bad person? But how? Because, usually, a terrible person wouldn't be asking this. Most terrible people would think what they're doing is okay. Even if most people tell them that they aren't. So the fact that you're so aware about this, to me, shows that you aren't one. In fact, I think that Somewhere deep down inside, there's a good-hearted person lost and in need of direction. He just has yet to find that direction fully. And I think that perhaps he, perhaps he's starting to finally find it. It's just gonna take some time is all. Although, time is of the essence, of course, and most likely I won't be there to see it. But why? Because I may not get the chance to say goodbye. I... I'm not gonna be around forever, Chris. You know that. The moment your guilt's gone, so am I. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I'm sorry. For everything. Everything is my fault. I always treated you like you were nothing. And once I got the opportunity, I took away your life so I could have my own. You're never going to get to live a full life. And you're probably not going to be around much longer. You're never going to get to... have a life of any kind ever again. You're never going to be able to have a family of any kind and die peacefully. All because of me. All for my own selfish needs. So if you still hate me, then I don't blame you. 
I'd hate me too if I was in your shoes. So, if you still don't want to talk to me ever again, and just leave me to die alone, then I understand completely. To be honest, I'm not all that angry anymore. In fact, I'm sorry too. Sorry for what? At the time, when I first came back several months ago, the only thing I could think of doing was lashing out at you. And boy, did I do that. And while I definitely still don't agree with your actions and what you did, and as selfish as those actions may have been, I do understand why you did it. Being trapped in someone else's mind for so long, not knowing how or why it happened, then taking the opportunity to have a body of your own once you got it, I, 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 I get why. Again, I don't agree with what you did. I don't condone what you did, but I suppose it's understandable. Maybe I would have done the same. Maybe there was another way. Maybe there wasn't. And whether or not my anger was justified doesn't really matter anymore, I would say. What's done is done. What's happened happened. All we can do now is just move on. You can't change the past, but I suppose that you can just prepare for the future. And just live in the present, and this is our lives now. And there's no way of ever changing that. So, all I can do is just, in a way, empathize with you. I don't think either one of us is truly innocent. So, I'm sorry. Michael, I don't say anything. We both made a choice, so... All we can do is just live with it. We just gotta move on. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Michael? Michael? Where'd you go? I didn't go anywhere. I'm still here consciously, just not physically. What? But... How? Well... I believe it could be caused by you moving on from the guilt you feel towards killing me. I'm not entirely sure of what else could be causing this, so... That's what I assume. I suppose that makes sense. So... What now? Well... Before moving on to what I actually want to ask you, there's something else that's been in my mind. Okay. What? What's your opinion on the audio logs we've done? Well, um... I mean, I don't mind doing them, but... I don't plan to continue doing them. I'm probably going to do one more, and then... That's probably going to be it. Why you ask? Because, for a while now, I've been meaning to do one final audio log, but haven't gotten the chance to for obvious reasons. So, maybe you could do it instead? Alright. I'll keep that in mind. So, what do you really want to ask me? Obviously, you've put quite a bit of thought into our conversation about the guy who killed you. My question is, what are you planning to do? I've decided that I'm not going to interfere, and I'm going to let you choose what to do 
all on your own. So, what's the plan, Chris? It's your call.